Alright, what is good, y'all? You dig what I'm saying? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I. As you guys can see, we are in Mamba. Um, I'm not even gonna roll the intro today. We're gonna just get straight into this video because I know by the title and the thumbnail, you guys are losing your minds right now. Alright, y'all, you dig what I'm saying? So, let me explain, alright? So, Mamba just hit 101,535 miles. 101,000 miles on an L99, not even an LS3. Now, the transmission and stall converter are both brand new, so they probably have about 25 to 30,000 miles. Um, so, you know, I know those are in great condition, and uh, I'm not worried about those at all. However, Let's keep it a buck, man. YouTube is a business, you know? Um, and you have to make smart uh, decisions when starting a business, when, you know, moving as a business owner. And um, it kind of goes back to, you know, back when I had Hazel and I got to that point where it was like, okay, what's next, you know? What do I, what can I do now? What can I do different now? What's going to come next? Like, you know, I don't want to continue to have, um, you know, money being spent on something that could potentially blow or become a hole in my pocket. Um, so with that being said, I started doing some looking online, you know, we all do it. You know what I'm saying? We all get on Facebook Marketplace. We all get on, you know what I'm saying? Um, we all get on cars. We all get on Carvana. We all get on, you know what I'm saying? We all, you know, you know what I'm saying? When, you, when you're a car guy, your options are always open. And um, I stumbled upon the car. Now, I'm not going to show you the guys the car, and I'm not going to say what car it was, but I will tell you how many miles the car has. The car has 12,000 miles. Um, it is a V8. It is an SS. You know what I'm saying? But it has 12,000 miles. Matter of fact, it's a 2 SS. That's all I'm going to say. There's something else that makes this car very special more than just a regular 2 SS. Um, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna disclose that at this time. Just because if I do get the car, I want it to be a surprise. And you know what I'm saying? I want to keep you guys on your toes. So I can't tell you everything. You guys already know how I get. But... I've been thinking for a very long time, um, you know what I'm saying, well, honestly, okay, let me, let me, let's go back, you know what I'm saying, let's go back, let's, let's rewind, so basically, when I went to go get Mamba tuned, and we saw the horsepower that the car made, um, uh, Lester was talking to J-Rod Jr., um, and they were talking about the building and what, and whatnot, and, something he said kind of dawned upon me and i think i still have been on video so i think i got it on video if i do i'm gonna go ahead and insert that clip now i want y'all to touch it T tell them why you want them to touch it tell them tell them why you want to why you want them to touch it though like what happened this weekend that made you want to what that made you want to go to them what happened this weekend that made you want to go to them jay i play that clip now Yo, wanna talk about it? That's an LT. So you supposed to you supposed to have walked my shit. Um, but yeah, he basically said that Lester's car, versatile speed, would be making what my car would make full bolt on cam with just E85 headers, um, he would be making the same horsepower that I'm making. And I'm pretty much tapped out after I go cam, to be honest, if I don't go E. Um, which I will go E, you know what I'm saying? Then I could go heads and all that. But it's like, I'm, I'm trying to see, I'm trying to look at it from the different picture, the, 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 the business aspect of it, and just what makes the most sense. And I'm sitting here and I'm thinking and I'm like, man, 101,000 miles versus 12,000 miles, that's a brand new car, man. That's, that, I know that motor and powertrain would be perfectly fine, 
perfectly capable of taking the stress and the beating that I would throw at it, perfectly be capable of handling the horsepower that I'm trying to throw at it, the numbers that I'm trying to make reliably without having to worry about anything breaking. It's a newer motor, it's a newer car, you feel me? So it's like, why, why dump my money? Why dump so much money into this? Um, knowing that I can make so much more horsepower doing so much less on a different platform. You know what I'm saying? So I really just sat down and had that conversation with myself. Um, and honestly, if I'm keeping it a bug with you guys, I really don't want to sell Mamba. But then again, if push came to shove and I had to sell Mamba, don't get it twisted. I wouldn't mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking bags and all. Bags, carbon splitter, side skirts. I would definitely keep my wheels. No cap, I'm not making that mistake again. You guys already know I let the z 28 go with Hazel. But this car, I, I keep my wheels for sure. Because the color that this car is, you feel me? The color that the car is, the wheels would still go great with them. It would still go great with the color of the car. So, I don't know, y'all. Y'all let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys think. What do y'all think, man? Sell Mamba, let Mamba go. Upgrade, get a newer car, newer platform, and just go crazy, build a crazy track monster. Or keep Mamba, drop a cam in Mamba, and still, you know, try to max it out and then see where we go from there. Um, as you guys know, I want to throw a blower on this car. I really do, and I want to cam it. I also want to get the heads done, so you never know, man. Y'all let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys think. Should I keep Mamba or should I let him go? Should I go ahead and try to get this car? Uh, do you guys want to see when I go take a test drive of the car? Do you guys not? Y'all let me know in the comment section down below, man. But without further ado, that's actually going to be it for this video. I told y'all it would be a short one. I just, it's something I've been thinking about for a while lately. And I thought I might as well share it with you guys. Because you guys would be affected by it as well just as much as I would. You know what I mean? Because you guys are the viewers, you guys are watching, you guys are the, you know, are supporting me in this journey. So, you know, I thank you guys every step of the way. But with that being said, man, that'll be it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.